This is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and well, today I'm gonna do a demo of something that has been like the biggest request on my channel. Um, besides the videos I've actually made. Um, you wanted a review of a LTD guitar, and that's what you're getting now. Most of my requests have been for the uh, EC10 or uh, other 10 models. This is a MH50. Uh, but they are similar, I think, and what I've read and what I've seen, so this goes for them as well, because it's really hard to find LTD guitars in Sweden, at least for me. Yeah, so let's start then. Uh, yeah. Well, as usual, at the top, uh, here we have proper, good, solid ESP branded tuners. LTD is an ESP company. And uh, yeah, it's nothing bad to say about them at all. They work really well. Um, they don't have to work that well since this is a Floyd Rose equipped guitar. You lock the strings here anyway, so they don't have to be so precise as they are. They are really good. We have a maple neck and a rosewood fingerboard. And what do you know? Someone is doing things right. Uh, ESP in general and uh, Schecter, that's also owned by ESP, so comes as no surprise. They are doing this, adding a volute. Extra wood behind, right behind where the nut is supposed to be. To help from, uh, I don't know, yeah. You know, head breakage. <laughs> A common problem with Gibson guitars. Um, and, uh, well, one can say it's your fault uh, since uh, they used to do it right. Actually, the Volute ID, it comes from Gibson. Uh, they used to do this in the 70s. But uh, then I suppose everyone complained because it wasn't like the original ones. So... Uh, they started making their guitars uh, the crappy way again, because of you, the guitarists. So, yeah. Well, some people are doing it right. Very good, I like this. It will be a much more solid, like, headstock joint here. It is a scarf joint, so it's, like, glued to the neck, but that's not where it usually breaks. And you have, as I said, a rosewood fingerboard. It's rather flat. I would say it's a 12 inch radius and it has uh, 24 extra jumbo XJ frets. It's a special thing for LTD ESP guitars. And yeah, they are quite big. Uh, it's not that much difference to a regular jumbo fret, I would say. But they are big, as I said. Uh, the fret job is really nice up until about here, the 17th fret, where it gets kind of bad. I don't know. Maybe they couldn't reach with the files down here. Because it's really good here. And the neck as a whole, it has this U profile. Again, special for LTD uh, ESP. But... If it, they said C profile, I wouldn't see it or feel the difference. It's a rather slim neck, but it's, yeah, it's rounded. It feels like any other Strat style guitar. And that is, this is a super Strat, basically. Uh, it has a basswood body. And it's arched. The MH range is arched, so it's like thicker in the middle. And... Uh, Please leave a comment if you like this design. I don't know uh, the, really the purpose of it. Uh, comes, of course, from Gibson Les Paul guitars. And what you get is, well, it's really nice that it's not a flat air area here, but I mean, you get this square edge here, uh, which, which you bump into all the time when you're playing. It's really annoying. It feels like an old Telecaster or something. Uh, they have a range called the, what is it called, the M range. And then it's just basically a more standard Strat style body where it's 
you have the cut out here. And it's very strange because it's very contoured everywhere else. It's contoured here, contoured here, contoured even on the back. Uh, you have this belly cut. Everything else is contoured and nice, so why not this part? Well, well. There's nothing bad to say about it anyway. Uh, it's the finish is nice. It's very solid. It seems well made, and as I said, it's very cut out on the other parts. Even the like the neck pockets here and everything is, yeah, easy to get around, even up to the twenty-four fret. Uh, we have two LH 150 pickups, and uh, yeah, you get to hear them. Uh, volume tone, three-way switch, work great, feels very solid. Uh, this is a one of the cheaper guitars in the LTD range, so that is a pretty cheap guitar, and uh, it feels very solid. Speaking of that, we have, as I said, a Floyd Rose Tremolo, and if you have an older version of this, you will have a ESP branded Floyd Rose. It sucks to be you, because uh, they were really bad. This is an actual Floyd Rose, uh, even though it's the cheapest version, the special, but it's an actual, 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 actual Floyd Rose Tremolo. And uh, yeah. Made in Korea. The big difference is that they use zinc alloy uh, saddles and block in the back. But other than that, it's basically the same as an uh, original Floyd Rose. Uh, we have this uh, push in tremolo arm. I'm not a big fan of those. I don't know. It works loose like in a second. I actually prefer the ones where it's screwed in and then you tighten the thing that holds it. Then it usually stays in place for a longer time than this does because it, yeah, it works loose almost immediately. Um, yeah, so that's the guitar. Uh, Build-wise and construction-wise and, uh, I mean, design-wise, it's not that much bad to say about it. I'm actually really impressed by it. The action is really low and it's very playable. The neck is feels wonderful. The finish of it is just great. It's not like super satin, but it's it's not sticky like some guitar necks are. Well, I suppose you want to hear it then. So here's a clean sound to begin with. <laughs> And then we add some overdrive.
Yeah, and finally, what you're probably looking for with this guitar, some high gain. There you have it. The newest version of this has uh, something they call ESP designed uh, LH150 pickups. I suppose they are the same. Um, and they sound pretty good to me. Uh, for being humbuckers, I think they are rather fine. And for being in a super cheap guitar like this is, you can expect much worse. Uh, they actually have some clarity and they. They have this upper mid-range kick that you need from a humbucker or from a single coil. That's what where the natural frequencies of a guitar is. So yeah, seems fine to me. So uh, well, I'm surprised. This uh, is a very good guitar, and I got it for almost free. So maybe you can make a bargain as well when you find one of these sold uh, second hand yeah hope this was useful uh, this has been the Swedish guitar now reviewing a LTD MH50 electric guitar see you soon bye